launched the Tasty Pastry. It's a low-carb Pop-Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs, and we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, September 29th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. To a certain extent, I think every athlete wants to have a say in how their final chapter is written because there's definitely something to having one of those heroic right off into the sunset moments to end your career that very few people ever have a chance to get. So with that in mind, here's a million dollar question for you. If Kamal Al Gargni wins the 212 Olympia title this year, do we see him ride off into the sunset? At this point, Kamal is 52 years old and even though he probably looks better than he ever has at any point in his career, there is something to be said for winning an Olympia title and walking away at the top of your game, like we saw Lee Haney do way back in the day. As it stands right now, Kamal is already one of the very best to ever step on a 212 stage, and being able to say that he walked away on his own terms would be an all-time storybook ending that we hardly ever have a chance to see in the bodybuilding world. As far as I know, I don't think we've done any sort of coverage of the Tsunami Cup yet, but it is set to go down in Italy in about two weeks from now. So far, anyone out there who's trying to survey the board and figure out who their pre-show favorite is, do yourself a favor and make sure you include William Martin's name somewhere near the top of your list. William's essentially been in prep mode since the early part of the season because he competed at the IFBB Arnold Brazil way back in April. And even though he already has two top six finishes on the books, he's still chasing the points for his Olympia qualification, which makes the Tsunami Cup the perfect opportunity to check that one off the list. Pound for pound, William will be one of the biggest athletes in the lineup, and his conditioning seems like it's always on point. So if he dots the I's and crosses the T's, he should be right there in the running for one of those top two or three spots. I want to warn you in advance, if you have a fragile ego, you might want to jump ahead to the next segment because this video of Yurishna Ayala is definitely going to hurt some feelings. Earlier this week, Yurishna's camp released this video of her crushing the leg press with what looked to be seven or eight plates on each side, which is what we in the business like to call big boy weight. Don't let the fact that she's a wellness competitor fool you into thinking that she isn't out there training her butt off every single day. Because we've seen plenty of evidence to support the fact that she puts her hard hat on the minute that she steps inside that gym door. Trying to judge the top five or six competitors in this wellness division almost feels like you're splitting hair sometimes. But if this is the level of effort and intensity that she's going to be pouring into her prep for the next 12 weeks, and I hope everyone else is paying attention and taking notes because she doesn't look like she has any plans to settle for anything less than first place. At a certain point, I think every great athlete wants to feel respected and appreciated by their contemporaries because these are the people who you're going to battle with and they're the ones who know what it takes to go to war in the trenches. So if you're Samson Dowda and you hear Big Rammy mention you by name on a podcast as someone who he believes could be a potential dark horse threat to crack the top five this year at the Mr. Olympia contest, it has to be one of those, look mama, I finally made it moments. The stuff that we're seeing, the stuff that we've seen from Samson throughout his entire mini improvement season has been out of control. And now that he's starting to chip away with the diet and pull out some of the little details that he's been hiding, I think it's forcing more and more people to take notice of how dangerous this guy really is. Outside of Big Ramy and maybe Nick Walker, there aren't many guys in the top tier of the Open who are going to be able to match the level of thickness and density that Samson brings to the stage. So if his conditioning is spot on, people better be on high alert because it means that someone is probably going to end up on the outside looking in. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. 
I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.